Hello everyone and welcome to the Golden Blazers Hand of the Day. Alright, so in this hand we have Queen Jack Offsuit in the big blind. Uh, there are two limps as well as the small blind completes. Uh, so a lot of money in the pot and I think checking here or raising is fine either way. Uh, obviously if you raise you're going to want to make it pretty big because there's already a lot of money in the pot. Uh, and I think even, I, I end up raising to five in this hand, uh, but I think that might even be maybe a dollar too small. I think maybe even six might be uh, a better size or, or maybe even like six and a half. Uh, we do get called two ways here. Uh, we get called by the uh, open limper as well as the cutoff. Uh, and so we'll go three ways to the flop. The flop comes 10-7-4. Uh, all clubs and with the queen of clubs in our hand in this spot uh, I think this is a pretty fine continuation bet uh, we have backdoor straight draws um, which of course we're not gonna be super happy about straight draws um, but it is something to keep in mind it does give us some equity uh, we have two over cards and we also obviously have the queen high flush draw um, when we bet in this spot uh, we're we're looking to fold out you know some there's a lot of hands we can fold out here with this bet that are, are ahead of us. So we can fold out, you know, all sorts of ace highs. Uh, we can fold out all sorts of king highs. Um, you know, any any sort of ace X uh, that doesn't have a club in it is going to have to fold. Um, all of the, you know, the various kings they could have in this spot uh, that don't have clubs are going to have to fold. Excluding, of course, pairs, right? Ace-10 is obviously going to have to call. King-10 is obviously going to have to call. Uh, but we're going to be able to fold out a lot of stuff uh, when we bet in this spot that's beating us. So I think it's a really good spot uh, for a continuation bet. So we do bet, and we do have to keep in mind the pot size here. When we bet, if we get called by the original open limper, uh, you'll notice our... our Stack to pot ratio is, is just about one and a half there. Uh, so that's going to be a spot where, you know, we're probably just going to have to get it in on the turn, depending, obviously, on what card comes. Um, the other player in the hand, uh, there's a lot more room to operate. Uh, so it, it's really going to depend a lot on the run out, uh, how much money we want to get in there. So we do bet and we do get called. Uh, and so we go to the turn. The turn comes and we hit our flush. That is uh, that is what my toilet sounds like when it flushes, which I'm I'm now realizing is a little grosser than I thought it was originally. Anyway, uh, we're sort of faced with an interesting decision here. I certainly like the check better in this spot. The reason being, I think we can only get one more street of value from a hand that's worse than ours. Uh, I don't think many worse flushes are going to call two more streets um and if we bet here and we face a shove on the river we're going to put ourselves in a super gross spot um so i think we're better off checking this turn and and seeing what happens right so we do check and we face a bet and when we face a bet obviously we have to call um, he can be feeling too comfortable with like an ace 10 hand or a king 10 hand, uh, which he obviously shouldn't be betting in that spot because he's not going to get called by anything uh, worse. Um, but you know, he can, he can have some bluffs, he can have some worse flushes, so we absolutely have to call when he bets. The river comes the five of spades, uh, and after checking the turn and him betting, uh, we really only have checks in our range here. Uh, and we've we've definitely capped our range. Uh, if we have an ace high flush, we would have bet turn. If we have a king high flush, we probably bet turn as well. Uh, so definitely uh, we've capped our range. However, this is like the very top that we can take this line with. Um, you know, because I, I don't think that we should really be checking an ace high flush on the turn. So I think this is probably the top of our range. Which means if he bets here, let's say he jams all in, um, I think we have to call. It's a gross spot because, you know, he's going to turn over the ace high flush a lot or the king high flush a lot. 
Um, but I don't really think we have a choice because if if we don't call in this spot and say he has, you know, a pair of tens that he's decided to turn into a bluff or, you know, maybe two pair that he's turned into a bluff somehow, um, you know, he can have some 10-7 suited combos, I guess. Uh, although those probably he's raising, well, I don't know. He, he, might, he might have some 10-7 combos. Um, anyway, the point is, if we don't call with our queen high flush here, I don't think that we're playing well. Uh, so even though he's gonna, if he bets, he's gonna turn over the ace high flush a lot, we just gotta deal with that and be okay with that. Uh, fortunately for us, he just checks it back and he did have the jack high flush. Uh, so he had, he had plenty of uh, showdown value to be able to just check behind. Uh, but it was an interesting hand, uh, especially there at the end. So. Feel free to leave me a comment below uh, if you disagree or with any of the decisions made in the hand. Certainly some spots that you can go either way. Uh, I think raising pre-flop, you might, you might make the case that uh, queen jack offsuit is a little uh, questionable. Uh, checking versus betting the turn also I think is a little uh, interesting. And then uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What are you doing if he shoves there? Uh, if he shoves there, I think I have to call, otherwise I'm just, you know, I can get exploited by bluffs in this spot way too easily, uh, so I, I would have ended up calling, uh, but maybe you disagree with that. Let me know. Leave a comment below.